Welcome to More About It Monday. I hope your weather is better than ours. We have rainy, dark day ahead of us, so blah. Good day for crafting. So today, um, and I'm not seeing comments, so if you're here, make a comment so I can see who's here. Um, we are going to talk about our Soft Pastels assortment. And this is new in the new annual catalog. Now, these chalk... chalk um, Chalk has been around for a long time, and uh, but they've just kind of brought it back. And it used to be in like little, like eyeshadow type things, but now they've got it in like these sticks. So um, I have never really used it a lot. So I did a little bit of research for you, and uh, so hopefully <laughs> we'll get through this today and we'll actually learn something. So the soft. Pastels assortment is on page 126 in the uh, new annual catalog and it's here next to the mini marvelous markers and the watercolor pencils. So um, there is eight colors the, and some of the colors I'm not real sure about like this is a really gray green that's supposed to be mossy meadow. This looks more like uh, pretty peacock but it's actually night of navy. Uh, Granny Apple Green, Coastal Cabana, those two look pretty pretty right. Uh, Gorgeous Grape, Poppy Parade, Mango Melody, that, I'm not sure about that one. And then Daffodil Delight. So um, we've got some fun colors to play with. And um, also when I'm using this, when I use this today, I'll, I'll show you, I have a card in mind to make, but I don't want to show it to you yet. This is uh, from the art gallery stamp set. Those of you that took my art gallery class a couple, I don't know, months ago, month and a half ago. Um, here's the stamps we're going to be using. I thought this would would lend itself to the um, pastels, the chalk pastels, because it's a two-step stamp. And you can do two-step stamping with the chalk pastels. And it has, it's just a beautiful image. I thought it lent itself to using chalk. And chalk is kind of like a pastel watercolor, but it, it's not as messy <laughs> as watercolor. It, it stays more in place. At least that's my definition. So we'll be using that and we'll be using the floral gallery dies here. That was also used in our class in the art gallery class. So um, when when um, the thing that I, I learned by watching some YouTube videos and there's lots of them out there so if you don't think you learned enough in this video feel free to check out YouTube videos, uh, chalk pastels, um, any you, you can find plenty of them out there to help you cover anything that I might miss or might not know. So I applied this by first stamping with Versamark watermark stamp pad. And mine's got a little bit of color there. I guess I didn't clean my stamp really well before I stamped in there. But that, that won't make a difference. So we do sell the watermark stamp pad. And it is on page um, 129 just the next page over from the, the pastels. I love the way these catalogs are organized. And then there's always an index in the back <laughs> if you can't find it. Uh, so this is the Versamark pad, it's number three. And then they also sell an ink refill right here um, in case your pad gets dry, which is nice. And then to clean this up, you you normally we would use a baby wipe or something like that with this is sticky this is very sticky it's almost like a glue but I don't want to say it's a glue because you can't really stick stuff together with it but it's sticky and that's what makes the the chalk stick to your paper or your cardstock so to clean your stamps you're going to want to also get on page uh, over here 140 is that right <laughs> yeah 145 I marked it and 
Um, this Stampin' Mist, uh, it is good for cleaning the Versamark off your, your stamps. If you don't have that, uh, you might want to use a little bit of, tiny, tiny bit of dishwasher detergent as long as it's not too harsh and doesn't leave a residue and then rinse it really well. But I have the Stampin' Mist that I'm going to use. I actually have it, the old version of Stampin' Mist. That's how long it lasts. Um, but it's, it's for cleaning your um, stamps. But you do want to rinse them after you clean them with that just to, just to get off and then air dry them. Don't dry them with a towel or anything because if you do that, these are, these are sticky. Photopolymer is uh, by nature is sticky. So if you put a tissue or paper towel or towel or anything with fibers, it's going to pick that up and it will have basically um, undo anything you did to clean your stamp. <laughs> You'll have all this fuzz all over your stamp. So just let it air dry. And um, so that's the information I have to give you. So let's get started uh, crafting with our new pastels. So I just have some basic white cardstock here and I'm going to start with using the the biggest fullest image this image right here. I'm not going to use the detailed image and normally you know that I will use my stamp and uh, <laughs> stamp apparatus but today I am not and speaking of stamp apparatus you know, it comes with this nice foam pad, which um, I switched out for the deluxe foam pad, which has uh, the plastic on it. This one right here, it has plastic. I just like it better. So I'm glad that I found a use for my old one that came with it. It's a little bit thinner. Um, that way, if I get chalk on this, I can wipe it off with a baby wipe, but I don't feel like, oh, I messed up my Stamparatus mat now because <laughs> I, I don't use it. But now I have a use for it. Yay! So um, I'm going to ink this up really good. And it works just like ink, like a, a sticky, gluey ink. You just get it all over there, and, and you can see it. It some, looks really glue, gooey and gluey and I'm just going to stamp here and I'm going to press down pretty hard. I'm looking through my stamp and making sure that the whole surface is flat on that paper because since I'm not using the stamp apparatus, I don't have a second chance. <laughs> this is a one-time deal so I'm going to push down into that foam and make sure that I have a great image and I do so you don't want to let this, you don't want to leave this open and you don't want to let that dry on your, your, um, so I, I start by just taking a, a baby wipe and you know that I like the honest baby wipes. They are, uh, 99% water plant-based wipes. I got these, I think at Kroger, but you can get them at Target. And I'm sure any any a lot of stores are carrying them now. So I'm cleaning this like I normally would a stamp, but I'm feeling like that's just not getting it. So what I'm going to do is bring my stamp and mist over here. I'm going to spray just a little. I don't want to get any on my paper. On there, I have a an old toothbrush, and I'm going to just scrub that around, scrub it really good. I'm even going to scrub my stamp block. Scrub, scrub, scrub. And then I'm going to take again my baby wipe and wipe it. And then later on after the video, I'm probably going to go rinse this out, rinse it really good and rinse off any residue off of there. But for now, for time, I'm just going to set it aside dry this off on my stampin' pants, <laughs> or my stampin' leggings, I should say. And um, so now we clean that stamp. We are gonna go do some fun 
uh, chalking. So I'm going to start with this color here, which is Daffodil Delight. It's the lighter yellow. And I've seen uh, where someone scraped some of this off, but I also saw where someone just took and rubbed and rubbed and rubbed until they've got some um, loose chalk there. Now you can use a sponge dauber. A lot of people did use a sponge dauber, but I'm using a eyeshadow. Uh, I'm also a Mary Kay consultant, so <laughs> which I only buy for my own self. I don't really sell any, but these these are available through Mary Kay, and I as a consultant. So, but any any um, eyeshadow swab will work. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to pick that up, bring it over here, and this is where the magic starts. I'm just going to kind of do little circles here where I know that Versa mark is. And I'm just picking up that chalk and gently applying it. And it starts out kind of um, mild or light. And then the more chalk you ap apply, the darker it gets. So, and I'm trying to stay as close to the image as I can. I don't want to go outside the image too much because then I'll have more to clean up afterwards. Now, once I get my base down where I have got all of the, um, it's all covered, all the sticky part is covered. You can see that. So now I'm going to do something a little different, like more like a shading. So now I'm going to pick up and I'm going to find some spots where I want to have it to be just a little bit darker than say all of it. But you can do it all dark if you want or you can do you can do some of it darker and some of it lighter because we are going to now you would use this technique if you didn't have a contrast stamp we do have a contrast stamp so that will help now I'm going to take just a regular tissue and I'm going to wipe that off into the trash and then I'm going to wipe this wipe it pretty good okay so that's what I have so far and by itself that would probably be okay but we do have that stamp that is um, the detail stamp so that's this one now I'm going to use that one um, to do the contrast. So I'm not seeing any comments, so I'm sorry. I have to apologize if, oh, now I'm seeing comments. Why didn't I see comments before? Hi, Maria. Hi, Pat. Hi, Kay. <laughs> sorry, guys. I just, uh, you know me and Facebook. We are, <laughs> we have a love-hate relationship. Sometimes more hate than love, but oh, well, it gets the job done. <laughs> so I'm going to line this up try to it's that's really faint underneath so it's going to be a little bit harder than usual to line up let's just go for it now again i'm going to push it down really hard and um ta -da. so now i'm going to clean this do the same routine that i did before Definitely going to move that out of the way. Going to cover this, and you you don't have to do it like exactly, but but I just want to do it and get it done and show you how it's done so that you because I don't want to definitely don't want that to dry on my stamp for sure. That'd be even harder to get off once it's fully dried. Okay, so I'll set that aside to rinse off later. 
Boy, I'm amazed at how strong these photopolymer stamps are. Dry off my block for later. Now I'm going to use the Poppy Parade, which is kind of, to me, looks more like chloro, coral, calypso coral, a dark calypso coral. Okay, so um, I already have one of my little things. And like I said, a, a sponge dauber. And I'm going to start out doing this light. And you see that I'm going from the outside to the inside because I, I want to not get as much of this to on the on the white cardstock. I want to keep it on the image. And see how it's picking up that um, just where I just now stamped with the Versamark. It seems to be picking that up really well, giving us a nice kind of a watercolor pastel look. And I can make that uh, as dark as I want. I can also go in and make parts of it darker. It just depends on the look I'm going for. Uh, I don't want it to be too, I don't want the Calypso Coral or the, what they're calling Mango Melody to be too dark, but I do want it to show up. That's the whole point. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now I'm going to take my tissue again and wipe. Now, I did pretty good this time. The first time I I, I wasn't good about keeping it to, to the center. So I I had to clean do some cleanup. And the way you do your cleanup now, you can use for the fine detail you could use I use a pencil eraser, or this is an adhesive eraser, which we don't sell, but you can get, um, you can buy them on online. It's an adhesive eraser. They do sell chalk erasers. I don't have one, so, but you know, I'm finding that this works just as well. Um, it works really, really good. So if you have a adhesive eraser, I don't know that you really need to purchase a chalk eraser, and you might not even need to do this depending on the image that you want. Since we would be die cutting this like this, um, you, you don't really need to uh, worry about the outside so much. Okay, so then the next thing we're gonna do is the leaf, this part right here. So let me grab that and that up again with my Versamark. This is fun and it's a different, I mean we, we, we all have our stamp and our inks and stuff but this is a fun something different to do and this is not that expensive. I think it's nine dollars for the set and I will be, um, I'm, I ordered three of these for our Take Your Pick Tuesday prizes so maybe you will win a set with your Take Your Pick Tuesday. I don't get them until, well, I just order them. They haven't even shipped the order yet. But uh, when I get them, I'll be able to offer them to you as a Take Your Pick Tuesday prize. So this time I'm going to use the Granny Apple Green. And it's a pretty green. It's a bright springy green. And this is kind of cool how you can just get that chalk to come up like that. And then just pick it up. And then here's the magic where you do this and it sticks just perfect. It's like, um, like the hidden messages <laughs> where you you do something and, and, and the message is released and you can read it. 
I think fa Facebook Messenger has that now, that feature. Someone hid their message and I'm like, what? Where's the message? And you have to click on something or other to to get the message where you can read it. Too much technology for me. <laughs> I just like to keep it simple. Uh, I, I, just that way I have, it's overload to my brain if I try to figure out too much. Okay, so there's that. I don't want that part to be too dark. So I'm going to get my tissue again and wipe it. Whoops. <laughs> it went flying. Now, I saw also where there is a fixative that you can spray on here if you're concerned about the chalk getting off. If you wipe it enough, I don't think it's really going to be a problem. I don't know how many people are going to, I mean, if you rub it, it doesn't like smear. So I don't know that you really need a fixative. Probably the oil from your hands, <laughs> your finger, will help to set it. I think I'm doing this now and I'm thinking that's kind of like setting it. It's actually making the color a little brighter too. <laughs> Learn something there, huh? So I'm going to use just a regular pencil eraser against this um, stem because it's just so thin. I can't get, I really can't get close enough with this to get it. So I'm going to use my pencil eraser. And I don't know that this is any special pencil eraser. This is a big pen, um, automatic pencil. I think I got them in bulk at Sam's. Okay, so um, to save time, I would go and I would die cut these, but like I said, to save time, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I am just going to set this aside. I'll die cut these later. And I'll bring in this part. This is just a quick card I did this morning. I, It's simple. I don't um, take any real pride in it <laughs> because it's simple. Um, but I have a regular card base. This is the new Pale Papaya. It's four and one eighths by five and three eighths. It's gonna go on the front. Now, if you wonder, ever wonder, why does she always use the four and one, uh, four and one eighths by five and three eighths? It's because I don't really like to use colored cardstock for my card bases. I like to have the more elegant feel of the white card base. So when I when I want to give the appearance that, you know, the background of a co colored cardstock, I will use this and it covers all but just a small part of the white. So it kind of gives the appearance of using a colored cardstock without, um, but you still get the feel of the more, I, I don't know, luxurious feel <laughs> of the white. Okay, so now this is uh, Calypso Coral, and I used it because this looks like Calypso Coral to me. If I, you tell me, what do you think? Does that not look like Calypso Coral? Okay, so this is um, three and three eighths by four, and a half, I believe. I think that's what it is. Three and three eighths by four and a half. And this is three and a quarter by four and a half. Okay, so maybe, yeah, this is a little bit shorter. Let me cut another piece real quick because this should be It should be three and three eighths by four and five eighths. <clears throat> I don't know, it's early, what can I say? So, uh, just a second while I do this. Three and three eighths by four and five eighths. And let's see if that works a little bit better. Okay. 
Oh yeah. So three and three eighths by four and five eighths for the Calypso coral. Put this one aside. And then this is three and a quarter by four and a half. So that's gonna go. And this, this is from, this is the pale papaya from the 2021-2023 in color six by six designer series paper. It's a pack. There's two different sheets of each color. Um, 48 sheets total, I believe. 40 sheets total, 40. So five colors, 40 sheets. And then four designs. Okay, where's, what did I do? <laughs> this would be pretty too, huh? We could use that side, but I like, I like the other side. So we'll use that. And put that on. Now I could pop that up if I wanted. Sorry, I haven't had breakfast yet, so. My, my voice is a little dry. This is going to go here. I'm not going to pop this up because I think I might pop up the flower or part of it. Like I said, this is just really, really simple. Little simple flower, but you know, it, 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 um, it has a little wow. So I, I stamped happy birthday in Calypso Coral. This is from The Messages Dies. It's one of the uh, labels from The Messages Dies. So let me see where I'm gonna put this here. I wanna make sure that I don't cover up that flower too much. How about like that? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'll put this on with glue Dots of glue. <laughs> Whoops, that's a big dot. Too big. Um, I might take some of that off. I don't have a piece of cardstock. There. Okay. Let that dry a little bit. Now this I will pop up with dimensionals and I'm going to use the big dimensionals, the full size dimensionals I should say if I can find some. I'm trying to find some. I've got two here but that's not enough. I need more to start a new pack. Where are you? Here we go. And take those off. This is a quick little card that you could make and it would be fun to make. And then this, do I wanna pop that up? Let me see. Yeah, I think so, but I'm gonna use the little ones for that, the minis. I'm going to use the minis for that one. Oh boy. <laughs> These are little. Okay, let's behave now. I know we're on camera and we want to show off, but behave. <laughs> That may be way too many. Alrighty. Hope y'all had a great weekend. Is that a little bit crooked? How's that look, guys? 
Mm, do I want it down a little bit more? Yeah, that looks good. All right, there's our little card that we made today. I didn't finish the inside. Didn't have time. <laughs> I rushed to get this done. So check out some of the videos online, the soft pastels or chalk pastels. There's all kinds, not just Stampin' Ups, but there's all kinds. And um, I could probably put a some kind of embellishment there. Let me see what I've got. This is my embellishment bag. Um, I could put a pearl there. Pearls are always nice. Uh, I think uh, rhinestone is too gaudy. So this is what I, these are the messages dies labels. And those are, I'm loving these. They're making my job, my life so much easier. And I have to come up with a, a label for my card. Here's some soft pastels. These are the pastel pearls. And here's one that's kind of a pinky color. I don't know. I don't think that would. That's too gray. And this is too pink. Oh, yeah, that's too pink. Too, too pink. Those won't work, but they're beautiful. And then, um, we have these new silver clear epoxy essentials, but that's, that's too bright. So we're going to go with the pearl. Pearls are always a good choice. And I think the largest one will be a good choice because it's big. Well, that one's not sticky. Whoops, 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 whoops. Yeah, because this was looking kind of plain. Okay, that looks all right. And then maybe we should put some little pearls down here to make it like to make them Oh, I wanted to show you a trick, okay? I was thinking about this the other day. When I'm putting pearls on and I'm not sure where I want them, I cut them out. I leave them on the plastic and I cut them out. And of course the clear plastic you can see through. And then I will do that. And then that way I can move them around and see, you know, how do I like these? Do I like them like, well, maybe I'll move it with this. It's sticking to my gluey finger. Or I could, that way I can kind of, before I'm committed, I can decide how I want it. I'm thinking, I always kind of like to do that. Do we, do, do we like that? Yeah, I like that. All right, so now that I know where I want it, I just hold that down with my finger. This is my take your pick tool. It really makes things like this so much easier. If you don't have one, I suggest you get one. Okay. Yeah, that, that looks so much better. It, before it was kind of pretty, but kind of dull. <laughs> like I tell my husband, it, it's like vanilla ice cream. It'll do in a pinch, but really, we all really want chocolate, right? <laughs> Unless you're one of those people that don't like chocolate, which there are people in the world that don't like chocolate. And I don't, I don't know where they came from, <laughs> but, um, I love chocolate, so uh, this is the card for today. We used our soft pastels assortment, and remember, I'll be I'll be getting some of these for our Take Your Pick Tuesday. So hang in there, guys, and um, I might have um, if I might go ahead and just let you guys. If you win tomorrow, I might go ahead and let you reserve one of these 
soft pastels assortment. So get your um, projects in, post your projects, or make a comment on last Tuesday's video so that you can be entered to win a soft pastels assortment or whatever you want from the Take Your Pick Tuesday prize. This is the current host code. If you are going to make a purchase, please use that host code to get to get your um, this kind of goes with that, doesn't it? To get your Sweet as a Peach kit from me with your $40 retail purchase before shipping and tax using this host code C3EECWWP. All right, thanks for watching me guys and um, have a great rest of the day. I'll see you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. for Take Your Pick Tuesday. Maybe you can win a soft pastels assortment. Love you guys. Bye.